Hi, welcome to the Red Bull Energy Station here in Monaco. My name is Barney, I work for the team here and I'm going to give you a behind the scenes tour of our station here floating in the harbour, just only a few metres from the edge of the track. Here we are now aboard the Red Bull Energy Station. You probably want to know a little bit about how we actually go about building this structure here in the middle of what is a very tight Monaco harbour. Um, we actually don't build the structure here at all. We build it just up the coastline uh, at Port Imperia uh, along the coast, just into Italy. So the structure is built in two pieces. Uh, we have two floating barges that sit underneath and we build the structure onto those barges. Um, the first barge that comes is actually the one that we're stood on here, which houses this ground floor decking area. Um, and that will be uh, brought in on a tugboat from Italy along the coast on a six hour journey and then docked in the harbour. And that will arrive about 10 days before the race weekend itself. And the crew will then get set in terms of uh, getting all of the furniture, um, all of the equipment, all of the electrics, everything that you kind of see in terms of individual elements. They'll get, the, they'll get that kit onto this platform. They'll also need to secure it. So we actually secure it with metal rods that get attached to the port itself so that there's no chance that we can, we can go anywhere through our stay. On the Friday, we then bring the second barge in and that actually houses the large structure that you see behind me here. It's the exact same uh, motorhome structure that we use in the paddock uh, at the races and European events. The two then get welded together to make sure that we've got a secure structure. And then from there, we get checked by the authorities here, and then we can start to put all the individual elements and all the pieces together, um, so that by the time that the staff arrive the week before, um, everything is ready for them to get going for the duration of the week. Now we're in the inside of the energy station on the ground floor. Uh, this is the team hospitality area where the teams will be fed and watered through the duration of their stay here in Monaco. We actually share the space with the team from Toro Rosso. Um, so the side of the uh, energy station here is actually uh, the side that the guys from Toro Rosso usually uh, take. As you can see, a few of the guys are there as we speak. And then this side um, is typically that of uh, Infinity Red Bull Racing. This is where breakfast, lunch and dinner is served throughout the duration of the week itself. And this is where the offices for the marketing team are, where the respective team principals, so Christian Horner and Franz Tost, and also the drivers will have their rooms. So behind the sliding door that you can see just in the corner behind me, the drivers have their particular spaces where they can obviously get ready. If they do have five minutes free throughout the course of the weekend, they can have a little bit of time in their own space. As we head up the stairs, this is the first floor uh, of the inside of the energy station. So this is what we consider to be our VIP area for lunches and dinners. And we reserve this area for some of our more VIP guests. So um, the important people from our sponsors and commercial partners. Um, and also we'll have some celebrities, some seniors from the world of Red Bull. Um, and this is usually the environment that we'd uh, look to entertain them in. As you can probably see behind me, it's another fantastic day here in Monaco. The sun shining, it's about 25 degrees. Uh, and that is really when this energy station comes into its own. Um, as I've said before, we have this structure here at every European race we go, um, but it is really tailor-made for this particular venue. I suppose no more so than this outdoor seating area where you can enjoy a cold glass of wine or a beer and have that as a view. Here we are on the pool deck, which is probably one of the more iconic locations on the Red Bull Energy Station. It's a perfect environment to sit and enjoy the sunshine with a cold drink in hand. Um, it's got everything you need, really. Uh, as you can see, there's people eating and drinking behind me. Uh, we've got a DJ booth with our resident DJ. And I suppose the most iconic part of the whole thing is what you see behind me here. The swimming pool. The total weight of the Red Bull Energy Station here in Monaco is almost two and a half thousand tonnes, of which 30 tonnes are the water that goes inside the swimming pool. This has been the home to many a celebratory moment for us through the years. Uh, the drivers, uh, as a bit of a ritual, anytime they have a good result, get thrown in. So through the years we've seen Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel both in there. I think actually one year they really did take it to the next level and avoided the pool altogether and decided to jump straight into the harbour. 
That completes the tour. I hope you've managed to see a little bit about what we do here on the Red Bull Energy Station. It's a pretty spectacular setup. A lot of work goes into it, but it's only fitting for somewhere so special as the Monaco Grand Prix.